All right, what is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Interesting stuff today. I woke up and I checked the Discord and saw that this was posted by our, uh, our resident data miner, Brandon. So shout out to him for putting this information out there. But we have a little bit of insight as to what the next Pirate Rumble Sugo Fest exclusive will be. And as you can see, it's going to be S Shark. And it's interesting as we just had S Hawk in Pirate Rumble debut, and now they're going into S Shark. So there's a there's a theming going on here that it looks like the Seraphim are going to be regulated to just being Pirate Rumble legends, which I don't think is a bad thing. I actually don't think it's that bad because look, yeah, the Seraphim they're not super popular characters. But the thing is, is they are really powerful characters in the One Piece series, and I think it's just cool to put them in as Pyre Rumble units, and you can use them in Rumble for combat, because that's what the Seraphim were built for. They're literally built for combat, and Pyre Rumble makes sense. So, I'm not that mad that they're relegating these units in this manner, and, you know, obviously with the power of S-Hawk, I mean... Many people agree that he's probably the best Pirate Rumble character that has ever debuted. I mean, right here, like, this unit is something else. If you guys don't remember exactly what he does, his normal kit is already very good with removing uh, paralysis and special bind with his special, also doing damage based on the damage you dealt on the previous turn, very similar to V1 Mihawk, and then having the really cool kit in Pirate Rumble, where he, he's focusing on boosting Int, which is his color, but also boosting Slashes, and you'll see that that's a common theme with S Shark as well. And then you have this OP special, which does 2.5 damage, ignoring defense to three characters with the highest attack, and then also provide healing and defense. Like This, this guy is just nuts. He's literally the best Pirate Rumble unit to ever debut. And then we move on to S Shark, which is a little bit different. So we've got a six star character, Fighter Shooter, and he is a Dex character. Now, in terms of his normal kit, he gives Fighter and Shooter characters 1.5 health, so very tanky. Boost their attack by 5.5 when you're below 30% HP, and then it's five times boost otherwise. And then Fighter and Shooter characters get a higher chance of landing matching slots and then 10% damage reduction, and your crew cannot be blown away. It's kind of interesting because I think every Sugarfest, ex well, every Sugarfest exclusive that has an effect to resist blow away is like a, a Pirate Rumble unit. I know that there's like um, Capone crew who also resists it, but like you've got like Rogue does it, uh, Pirate Rumble Kuma does it. I think there's another one as well that also resists blow away, and we have this unit. So it, it's kind of wild that we're getting another captain that does that. Fair enough. I don't think people are going to use him as a captain. Move on to his special ability, which does a 20% health cut uh, to, to your own crew, but then does 150 times his attack and dex damage to all enemies. He reduces all enemies' threshold and damage reduction by 6 turns. That's pretty neat. And then dex, fighter, and shooter characters get 1500 base attack for 3 turns. Not the greatest buff ever, but the utility is really good. It then furthermore says that if Jinbei or Senor Pink have launched a special this turn, then it reduces the duration of barriers and damage nullification by 2 turns. That's really neat, actually actually, because there is a rare recruit Senor Pink that literally has this effect of removing barriers and damage nullification and further increase the base attack by 500. So being a 2000 base attack for three turns, this is the best base attack boosting special in the game. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I just want to go back to Senor Pink because I'm pretty sure there's that Senor Pink that actually does that. Uh, oh my god, spoilers, oh my god, gotta, 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 gotta nerf that one. Uh, but yeah, this guy's special. Reduces barrier and nullification by one and then does damage to all enemies. So yeah, that's crazy that they were able to kind of implement that effect. Because I know that S-Hawk, I mean, again, I want to go back to S-Hawk. Um, he had effect kind of similar where depending on who launched the special, right? If, where is it? Dracul, Mihawk, or Mr. One used the special, you get a crit damage buff for one turn. So that doesn't really have a lot of synergy, like, exactly with Mihawk and Daz Bones, but the fact that S Shark special is, like, a pseudo-special of what that Senor Pink was back in the day, that's pretty neat. And obviously it makes sense, because, you know, this is a Seraphim with the Mihawk DNA, and then you've got Mr. One with his Devil Fruit power, and then you've got, uh, you know, S Shark, who is, you know, the Jinbei DNA, and then it's got Senor Pink's Devil Fruit power, so that's cool. Uh, I get it, I like the thematics of, all, of, of everything going on here, it's really, really cool. We move on to the Sailor effect, cannot be blown away, immune to stun, okay, fair enough. Um, has uh, heals, you get the pinch healing, you get barrier pierce, which is big, and then also fear reduction, that's cool. Uh, S-Hawk also had uh, fear reduction, so it'd be cool if these characters have really good crewmate abilities with fear reduction, would be dope. And then we move on to the Rumble kit, so this is what we're here to talk about. So let's have a look at the Rumble passive, right? 
Dex teammates, level 6 health, level 6 defense, already very strong. Fighter characters, level 6 attack, level 6 speed. And then when you take damage up to 10 times, give himself level 1 attack increase. This seems really good, right? At face value, you might think, okay, that's pretty decent. You have really good defensive effects. HP and, and defense in one rumble passive is already very good. But then giving further buffs to fighters is also really strong. And the fact that he himself is a fighter by himself, he gets 6 HP, defense, attack, and speed. That's already strong. But the fact that every time you take a hit, he gets level 1 attack increase... This is where things get a little crazy, right? As you have a look at the Rumble special, your Dex teammates, level 7 defense for 30 seconds, which is his, it's himself included, right? Fighter characters, attack up level 7 for 30 seconds, which he is, so he'll, he'll get that. Then target self for 3 times counter for 30 seconds, provoke for 30 seconds, and a level 3 shield for 30 seconds. Oh man, this is going to be such a frustrating character to go up against. Uh, so, we already have a character in the meta right now that's already really good at this kind of thing, and that's N. Mazora, right? So, just a little bit of a recap of what, what he does in Rumble with his special, 33 CT. He gets level 5 guard and level 5 defense to free spirit, provokes them for 30 seconds, and then if you're below 50%, you get a level 5 attack and defense buff to free spirit in a medium range, which is himself included, I'm pretty sure. And then if Luffy's on the crew, level 6 attack to himself. And then if Luffy's on the crew as well, a 4 times counter for 30 seconds. Now, if you've ever come up against N. Mizora, which I'm sure many people have, but if you're, if you're up against him, you know that some of the counter damage that this character is capable of doing is absurd. You can just literally wipe the floor with opponent's teams, especially very squishy teams that don't have a lot of defense. Just this guy launching his special, tanking all the hits, and then just dealing the damage back with counters... Is absurd it, and the amount of damage you get from it is wild and the fact that we have a now a new unit that can do this is incredible and the fact that they've they've given it to the dex typing uh dex we know is renowned for being an extremely tanky type however even though this character does seem very very good at face value defensively speaking i do feel like it's still gonna get kind of destroyed by how powerful the strength teams are right now like if you're going up against those strength teams you know with all those damage through defense specifically like legend kuma from pirate rumble or if you're talking about 9.5 anniversary gear 5 luffy from film red uh you've got magma kaido which can do heaps of fixed damage you've got like heaps of health cutters as well with v1 white beard and stuff like I do think Mono Dex is still going to get absolutely destroyed by strength, but having a character like this takes the target off of the rest of your crewmates, making your Dex team just a better unit overall. Uh, and looking at the Rumble Resistance, he does evade half stats, 30% reduction versus quick, and increased damage against quick. So if you're against Mono Quick, this could be a really good unit to use because it means that his counter damage is going to be even better than what it normally is. So that's the rundown of what S Shark is doing, and just to give you a bit of a rundown, is just of some characters you may want to run alongside him. And the, these characters are in no particular order, by the way. I just kind of threw them in here, but you got to remember that this S Shark new character is a 20 cost unit, so he's very flexible to build with. But I feel like you're probably going to see him most of the time on a mono dex team. Saying that though, you could run mono fighter with characters like Katakuri, Ulti, Who's Who, stuff like that, Legend Jack, you could do that. But I feel like Dex is probably where he's going to see a home. Uh, you got characters like Legend Garp from Rumble, Don Chin Jiao, very annoying defensively focused characters and then utility from Don Chin Jiao. Luffy to activate the revive I think is really interesting. The thing that we talked about before with N. Mizoro, um, this guy right here, the thing that makes him so good with his counter mechanic is that he actually has a revive. So when he dies, he comes back, and if he launches special again, he can just keep applying the provoke and the countering. S Shark that we just went through doesn't have a revive. Luffy can kind of give you that though, so that's pretty neat. And because S Shark is so focused around defense, I think a character like Rob Lucci might actually see a little bit more play. Because this Rob Lucci is actually, like, on paper, a really good rumble unit. The only real issue is, is that he doesn't have a lot of defensively minded effects. He's very offensively focused. So if you can have S-Shark sit there, tank all the hits, and then have the Lucci go ahead and deal all the damage for you, that's dope. You got a character like Big Mom, not a fighter character, 
but still Dex and has an amazing special. Blackbeard, not fighter, but still very good against, uh, you know, quick or strength teams if you have to go against them. And then you got Doflamingo. Again, uh, we don't really have to talk about him. He's already very good. You got the Sulongs. You got other characters like Anne and Bullet who came out recently. I would assume that they're going to be featured on the banner itself because they are Dex and fighter characters. I assume Garp will also be featured. We'll see. Uh, and then also Yamato, um, the versus Yamato, who is a, a mono Dex character, works well going up against opponents' quick teams, allowing you to um, just kind of debuff them with the rumble ability of reducing their defense, allowing S Shark to counter even better against them. So that's the rundown of the brand new unit. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about S Shark. Look, we're very close to the 10th anniversary. I'm sure most people out there are not going to be pulling on a banner such as this. Personally, I may do the discount and dip. I'm, I don't even know if I'm even going to do the discount because I already have a lot of the characters that we just talked about. This would be the only one that I'm missing. I don't care too much about it. But let me know your thoughts and opinions about S Shark down below in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video though. If you did, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. On that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.